Hello and welcome back to another episode. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom has been out for a few weeks at this point and we are loving it. We've talked about this in the previous episode. It's everything that, that me and my wonderful wife could have possibly hoped for in terms of how it adds to Rest of the Wild and how they kept certain elements of the game secret, I'll never know. But anyway, it's it's fantastic. Except for a couple of days ago, I had a truly maddening, a truly sort of, you know, tooth grinding, nearly smashing a controller type incident that occurred. Uh, it was two and a half hours of our evening that was swallowed up by what became a, a sort of madness, an obsession that bit by bit, Mrs. Soup was sort of backing away from, as it were. She just, just carried on doing whatever she was doing on the sofa. And I was like, I'll be, I'll be done. I'll be done in five minutes. <clears throat> it's always done. Trust me, this will work. This will work. Uh, spoiler alert, none of it worked. Um, and <laughs> I suppose I should, I should set up what I'm talking about. So we're exploring Hyrule. We've just done uh, a few bits and bobs. And uh, no spoilers, I'm not going to uh, spoil what we've been up to. But I came across this island that was floating not as high in the sky as all the other sky islands are. This one had tree roots that were reaching down and almost touching the ground. So I figured you could probably climb the roots and get up onto the island, which I did. I mean, that was straightforward. Uh, there's a shrine on top of the island, a little challenge area. Went in, did the shrine, came out. And at this point, I spotted an area that was meshed off. There was like a grate uh, in a, a, what looked like almost like a stone column that was hinting at something quite tantalizing. There was a treasure chest there and there was a spring device. If, you, if, you, if you're on the device and you hit it, it will launch you into the air uh, with, the, with the spring suddenly going boing and off you go. And I remembered that as I approached the island, I noticed that there was a, the, a drooping bit of rock at the base, which in most cases so far, we found is, a, is a, an area or a spot where you can ascend up through that droop and arrive in a designated spot on the surface above. This is one of the, the powers that you have in Tears of the Kingdom, the ability to ascend up through things. And so uh, I couldn't walk away from this treasure chest. I figured uh, I might even just forget that it's here if I don't get it now. So we decided to, to try and get at the droop, try and get it into that, that space from underneath. Makes sense, why else would it be there? And so I began, and sadly in this instance, I don't actually have screenshots for the, for the early part of this, this, this attempt. I began by going to a local, uh, uh, building material supply depot and bringing all these planks of wood together and making a tower it was a simple shape it was sort of like a, a an elongated stretched out e shape with a couple of platforms that i could ascend through to get higher to hopefully get close to that droop in order to ascend up through that simple plan just had to make sure that it was on a relatively flat bit of land which wasn't easy it was quite undulating below but i made it work Except I didn't. It wasn't high enough by any stretch, and actually there was no flat land directly beneath the uh, the droop, uh, and and so I scrapped that idea and I began making an, another platform on the 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 uh, the little hill beneath the floating island, and this was really something that I was really proud of. Actually, it was a really well constructed platform. It had a little bit bit of wood going around one of the drooping roots, so it was kind of anchored in place. And we got higher and higher, then built out towards underneath the droop, so I could shoot myself up through into the into the island. I thought this is going to work. This is, this is absolutely fantastic. And then, as I, as I was maneuvering one of these pieces of wood with the ultra hand power, where the screen sort of turns orange, I didn't notice that a thunderstorm had rolled in, and uh, I was wearing a, a metal shield. And bit by bit, the shield was starting to spark, and boom i was hit hit with lightning that lightning destroyed my entire construction <laughs> and i had to start from scratch and at this point we uh we realized that all of the building material was now gone and uh the best thing to do would be to reload from where we where we had been the last time the game had auto saved had been in uh, about half an hour 45 minutes prior so before I really started doing anything. So 
So I reloaded the game, went back down the hill, got the building materials, brought it back up the hill, and then started constructing something else entirely. And, and this something else really got quite large. I, I found the, the upper limit of materials that you can link together. We, we reached that limit. It said you cannot add, add anything else to this construction. It was uh, a frustrating endeavor, getting materials ever higher and building this sort of rickety, you know, janky tower to try and get somewhere close to this droop just so I could just, again, ascend up through the island just to get that treasure chest. I had to get it. And at this point, after uh, you know, the wind knocking it over, the, the ground being unsteady, building a platform to steady it on the ground and then build up from there, maneuvering the tower to get ever closer to the to the point through which I could ascend, uh, fighting off monsters that, that every now and then would fly past, maybe shoot fire at the tower and almost burn it down. It was getting more and more stressful and about ooh, an hour and a half into all of this, I finally built the tower. It was all ready, all good, all in place, and I figured, great. Now, now I can ascend up through the island and get to the treasure chest. Except I couldn't. The tower was, was in the right place, but even as tall as it was, it still was not tall enough. I lost it. I went nuts. I was literally just, ah! <laughs> Mrs. Soup was like, are you okay? I'm like, <laughs> and uh, I, I smashed at the thing. I took my, my, uh, my frustration out on it with a, uh, a fire, uh, fire fruit, laid an arrow, burned it to the ground. And at this point she was like, should we just move on? Should we just, let's just move on, shall we? And I, I thought, okay, okay, let's move on. But I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I basically was just sort of circling the area because I knew I wanted to come back to this spot and get that treasure chest. Suddenly, I had an ingenious idea. I figured I could use Zonai platforms, these devices that, that, that when you strike them, they hover wherever you leave them in space. As long as there's power in your battery pack, they will hover and stay there. And with two of them, I could create a sort of rising sequence of platforms to get myself precisely where I had to be to get up through the island. Yes, I thought, and that's what I did. I, I started from the little mound, so I wasn't starting from you know, a full on ground level and climbed my way up and maneuvered the, the last platform. I actually used three in fact. So I had two and a third just to try and get, get it precisely where I had to be. I was there, I was high enough, I could ascend up into the island. I thought, yes, I have, I have solved this puzzle. Finally, I can move on with my life. And as I rose up through the island, I was grinning at Mrs. Soup and she was like, yes, well done, well done. Only to emerge here, outside the, outside the structure that I was trying to get into. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I think Mrs. Soup thought I was at risk of having some sort of mental break at this point because I was so I was so frustrated. I was like, there must be a way. There must be And why on earth would you have the droop there and the the, the, the ascend spot if it wasn't gonna tick ah! <sighs> Then it occurred to me that once you were inside this structure, this spring inside that when you strike that it goes boing and you can launch yourself out of it, was there to provide an exit. Meaning that you could probably go into the tower from above, not below. Uh, I looked on the Sky Islands map and you couldn't uh, dive from an island above and, and skydive in. And then I figured, oh, of course, I can just use my Zonai devices. So I got out a spring, climbed it, hit it, went up above the tower, hang glided in, and that's how I got in. <laughs> and then of course I used the spring inside to uh, launch myself out again and uh, and that was truly truly infuriating I was I was so annoyed I'm still so annoyed but at the same time I am thrilled by the fact that this game has the flexibility to let you fail so spectacularly to, to construct such weird uh, crazy solutions to problems that that clearly 
was not remotely intended in this instance because as I say the point I was trying to get to didn't actually lead anywhere so I learned a lesson uh, and and to be fair right from the first moment I saw the spring inside that space I should have thought oh you leave through the top therefore you can get in through the top but sometimes you think you know you just get fixated on one solution one possibility you figure oh yeah that must be the way and then you spend two and a half hours trying to achieve that yeah <laughs> so long story short i am loving this game uh mr super is absolutely loving it as well we're having a great time uh and even at its most frustrating it's incredibly creative and engaging i want to play some more now but sadly, we're going to go and have tea with friends tonight. Uh, so, <laughs> no, no, we'll probably play tomorrow. But um, yeah, there you go. That's my my infuriating time with Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, definitely not something that I'm really complaining about. But boy, oh boy, did it drive me insane. Briefly, just briefly. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, do take care. Bye bye.